So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So, oh excuse me. <laughs> so today I'm going to be um, doing an Illumina Crate book unboxing. I do have colouring videos but um, since my hand and wrist is slowly getting better from resting I'm not sort of, shall we say, stressing about editing and doing those. I do have them there for when I'm able to but I'm going to um, start working on those once my wrist has improved more because my left hand gets quite tired and stuff but basically it is getting better slowly so that's a good sign I'm really happy about that I'm actually noticing the swelling starting to go down as well in it so yay <laughs> I'm happy also um, this Illumina Crate box will actually be my last because it's looking like my left ankle surgery will be coming up soon so I've pretty much cancelled my subscription to Illumina Crate um, I will still be getting, I don't know if you've heard of Goldsboro books, but I'll still be getting some of the Goldsboro books, but I basically cancelled my Illuminacrate subscription because I'm going to need to pay for my private health and that for my surgery when it comes up, because I see my surgeon at the end of January to organise a date to get it done, and after speaking to the anesthesiologist and everything, I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to it because I've been wishing for better ankles for however many years. Um, my right ankle's better than it ever was before I even injured it last time and had surgery and so even though I'm kind of nervous about the upcoming surgery I'm excited too because of the fact that it gives me the chance to have the better ankles I've been wanting even if they aren't completely 100% it's better than nothing particularly if I can do more or have more of a life and that that I'm limited to currently because of my ankle issues and everything but yeah, and obviously, um, yeah, they're looking into, as I've said before, connective tissue ish disorders and stuff like that, or possibly Ehlers-Danlos syndrome because of how I keep injuring myself so easily. So yeah, anyway, this is my last Illumina Crate box um, for who knows how long into the near future. I have cancelled my subscription um, just because, well, my health is more important to me so yeah so we're gonna unbox this um i love Illumina crate don't get me wrong but i knew i had to pick and choose so that i could <laughs> a little so that i could um get the surgery that i really want to because it means a lot to me to try and improve my ankles and get them better particularly now i've got the opportunity to so yeah so this month's theme is Secrets and Schemes. This is the December 2019 box. Obviously we've got our spoiler card here, which you probably can't see that properly. It's quite bright with the lighting at the minute and hot. Yeah, we've got some bad bushfires around in Australia at the moment. Um, so I really wish that I could keep going with this. It's just for health reasons. That's the reason why I'm stopping it. So, um, I won't be getting January's theme, but I'll read it out anyway. Um, just because Illumina Crate is the box that I really love, but if you can't get, if you've got to put your holes first, you've got to put your holes first. So, and that is my priority to get, to try and get my health better. So, yeah, so I'll probably still share Goldsboro books unboxing and stuff like that. Like, I'm with the Book of the Month Club, but I've never actually shall we say shared an unboxing before because I was too excited and I just did it without even thinking about it but um, I'll probably do that from now on instead of the Illumina Crate unboxings or those just because well yeah health priorities came first and so I will just try and remember to do the Goldsboro books unboxing <laughs> first as best I can but yes anyway I'm rambling here so next month's theme is the strength within January's theme is the strength within we're starting 2020 with a bang and bringing you a two book box our first book is a February release that you're getting you're getting a little early Sisters with elemental powers who were separated at 13 must reunite and return to their magical land to rediscover their gifts. And unbeknownst to them, 
they have a huge fight ahead. This is a hardback and our limited credit edition will have exclusive spread edges and is signed by the author. Our second book is the first fantasy story from a well-known contemporary author. Two brothers, one who wishes he had powers and one who wishes he didn't, are caught in the middle of a magical war and must make the difficult choice about whether to get involved in the fighting. This one is a paperback and comes signed as well. Book only subscribers this month you would be getting both books. Items are inspired by The Hunger Games, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Girls of Paper and Fire, Gideon the Ninth and more. We love the items we've picked for you and can't wait for you to see them. Sneak Peek will be including a wintry wearable in this box, so I'm guessing probably a scarf. But yeah, so I've just, I guess, decided my health issues are more important as much as I love the Illumina Creek box, so yeah, I'll just aim to share what I get from Goldsboro Books when I get it at times, but I also decided, well, I kind of, I buy it originally for the books anyway, like I love the items in Illumina Crate and everything like that, um, I just, I had to make, it a cho make a choice and really, in the end, I can save more money by cancelling Illumina Crate um, than I do with cancelling Goldsboro Books, so... Yeah, um, that was just the decision I made anyway, and I love Goldsboro Books editions anyway. So first thing we're going to do is we've got the Illumina Crate exclusive mug, ploy and play, and from what I know, I think this is from the Akatar series, which I haven't read yet. I've got the books in paperback, but I haven't actually read them. So I won't have any clue as to what this scene is. I know some people have thought it's from the Cruel Prince or the Queen of Nothing or that, but from what I know it's from Sarah J Maas's Avatar series. But I don't have it. Um, haven't read the books yet. One day. So we got this cool purple mug with snakes, and then I'm. I'm not sure who the characters are, I'm guessing it's Cardin and someone else I can't remember for sure. Or maybe, it, no, it wouldn't be Cardin because <laughs> it's Agatar. So yeah, so it's an awesome ceramic mug again and I really, really like it. Um, so I'm just going to move this box off here. I'm just going to sit the paper bits temporarily up there but yeah so yeah it's not that I'm I guess I'm just doing what's best so that I can get my health sorted because that is more important to me currently even though as much as I enjoy these boxes so yeah um I'm sure you'll understand anyway times change and situations change and yeah, things happen differently. So next we've got a iron-on patch, and from what I know, this is from the Caraval series, and his Legends hat, as you can see by the L in the cards. <laughs> and I'll just do this next one. Um, we've also got a set of Star Wars enamel pins. I haven't followed Star Wars for a while, so I don't know what these are, but they're still awesome. I really, really like the enamel pins. And it was designed by Fable and Black exclusively for Illumina Crate. <laughs> this is so cool. So we'll just focus back down there. Um, oh, hang on. We've, I'll just bring it up again. So we've also got a candle called Four Paths, Bonfires and Mist. It's an Illumina Crate exclusive. I am not sure where this one is from but I'm always happy to have more candles to add to my collection it smells sort of very as people have said it smells very clean and mine's got a bit of wax stuff because the, the temperatures lately it's been melting a bit so I don't know if you can see that but just in there the temperatures have been quite bad here so yeah but I like how it's sort of 
slightly different tones with the colours but I've been keeping it out here. The other candles in my bedroom are probably melting because of the heat <laughs> which always shrinks them a bit but yeah it is what it is. Um, nothing much I can do to control the heat or the bushfires or any of that unfortunately. Unfortunately as much as I may want to but yeah, it's not looking good at the moment with all the bushfires here in Australia. Um, so, next thing we've got, oh, it's dinted a bit from the candle, but <laughs> it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. So we got a 2020 calendar featuring artwork by Merwild and Chatty Nora. And um, I really like the artwork in this. For um, for this calendar but at the same time it's kind of shall we say um, oh I might have a use for it actually now I think about it but there's not a lot of space in the lines so this has one choice can transform you um, January the winner's curse and I really like these artworks for February but as you'll see we've only got a very small space for putting notes or things in there so but I think I may have something that it may be useful for I'm not sure um, other thing I'm considering is just when I can eventually ripping out the pages and just using it to display on my bookshelf on a, if I can ever make a, like a book book net reading nook or something like that and use these as display images on those areas. So we got March and we got the Hunger Games. I don't know all of these I just know what they say on the thing so I haven't gotten to read all of these even though I may own some of the books I may own uh, not others. That one's for April. This one I can relate to because I keep trying, feeling like I need to be normal with my Asperger's and everything. But it's like, who wants to be normal when you can be interesting instead? And this is from Aurora Rising. But it's like, that kind of suits me. <laughs> yeah. That one's for May. I'm wondering if that one's on May because Aurora Rising is released on the 5th of May 2020 from what I know. Like Strange Dreamer, I've got it but haven't read it yet for June. I don't have all the books in here but I don't have this one. Never say no when you really want to say yes. Uh, apparently it says it's from Jenny Hahn to all the boys I loved before. I don't have that one. That's July. Then we got Throne of Glass for August. And got fear is only your enemy if you allow it to be. Uh, it's that's from an ember in the ashes, which I also don't have that series for September. Then October is a darker shade of magic. And then it's this one is I spent my life folded between the pages of books shadow me series to Hara Murphy for November and then for December we've got Caraval with Scarlet and Teller I think it is for December <laughs> and I have read the first book of that but I want to go and reread that again when I can when I get to read the full series so yeah that is um, uh, the Illuminate 2020 calendar. Um, I'm thinking rather than writing in it I might go and do that. I've got to write some notes down for the last few days anyway with sort of my health stuff and how the heat and stuff's been affecting me and that but yeah we'll get there. Um, but yeah I really like that but I'll probably just I think I'll probably just use it as like when I can eventually design a reading nook area in my bedroom or something I'll probably use those for that instead of writing on them and just display them 
And lastly, um, two more things. I almost forgot one. We've got our book, but we've also got our character coin, which from what I've heard online is a character called Kaz from the Six of Crows, but I haven't read that series yet. I'm just trying to get it open and I can't right now easily. Just trying to get it so that you could see it outside of the case. But yeah, I really love Illuminocrates editions. I just need to put my medical stuff first for a while. So, and yeah, so I decided to cancel out everything except for my Goldsboro books because that actually saves me money by being subscribed to that when I buy the odd book from them. So that's an advantage. But yeah, so this is our Kaz coin. And yeah, I'm sure you'll understand anyway. Because you still need the odd little treat, but I just decided it saves a lot more by cancelling the Lumicrete. So, yeah, that was just my decision. As much as I love a Lumicrete, I just realised I couldn't keep every keep everything going when I really need to get the money for this surgery that I really want to happen. So, yeah. So next we've got our Lumicrete book for this month. And... I do have a couple of other editions of this in the UK edition. Um, so we got Blood Air by Emily Wen Zhao, I think it is. And this edition is um, obviously it's got sprayed edges at the top, but it's actually stenciled to look like blood dripping down it. So at the bottom it's just plain white. Um, then we got same cover as the others. Inside we got an Illuminacrete letter for Blood Air and an exclusive inside pages. A um, dust jacket just looks like normal. So inside it's just it's first edition um, Thank you note, we've got our map. And I'll just read the story before I show you the other editions that I've got. This says, in the Cerulean Empire, affinates are reviled. Their very gifts to control the world around them are unnatural, dangerous. And Anastasia Mikhailov, the crown princess, has a terrifying secret. Her dead deadly affinity to blood is her curse and the reason she has lived her life hidden behind palace walls. When Anna's father, the emperor, is murdered, her world is shattered. Framed as his killer, Anna must flee the palace to save her life and to clear her name. She must find her father's murderer on her own, but the Cerulea beyond the palace walls is far different from the one she thought she knew. Corruption rules the land and a greater conspiracy is at work. One that threatens the very balance of her world. And there is only one person corrupt enough to help Anna get to its core. Ramson Quicktongue. A cunning crime lord of the Cerulean underworld, Ramson has sinister plans. Though he may, might have met his match in Anna. Because in this story, the princess might be the most dangerous player of all. And our letter says, Dear Illuminicrete reader, Welcome to Cerulea, the glittering icy northern empire where mystical lights weave over a frost-covered boreal forest. Ice spirits prowl the frozen mountains and magic bestows a gifted few with an affinity. And meet Anastasia, the exiled heir, with a horrifying power to control blood. In these pages you'll find a princess who is a monster, a con man with a tragic past, and a cast of characters from all walks of life who are trapped as pawns in a corrupt empire. Each of them questions their identities but learns that it is our choices that define who we are. Reader, the world of blood air is dark and brutal, rife with corruption and plagued with human rights violations in a broken system of law. But ultimately this tale is one of hope, humanity and magic. I hope you'll love this book as much as I loved writing it. Sincerely, Amelie. So that is awesome to have. I've also got 
just a paperback edition here that I received from HarperCollins Australia in exchange for a review and I'm so excited to have this edition. Obviously this is just a floppy paperback um, but yeah very happy to have it and yeah it's come with a few creases on the corners and that from the mail but me <laughs> and then lastly the last one that I've got to show you is the Goldsboro edition of Blood Air. So this edition obviously they've put a protective cover on it. It comes just um, black. Oh it's got gold on that one. I wonder if that's different to the Illuminacrate edition. Let me just see. Um, let me just see. No, both the gold. Okay, all good. Just curious. Um, so we've got gold there. Obviously nothing under the dust jacket. And then we've got red sprayed edges for our Lumina Crate Edition. And we've just got plain red on the inside instead of the cover image that Lumina Crate had. And it is signed by the author and we've got number 294 at 300. It's the first edition. And that. And then just our entrance. And I just want to look with the Illuminacrate edition. Um, oh yeah, it is signed. Obviously. <laughs> but yeah, so very awesome to have those editions I'm very happy to um, just to show you what they look like together I didn't get the UK edition but yeah anyway I'm going to leave it at that for now just because my battery is about to die I hope you've enjoyed this last unboxing of mine for Illuminacrate for a while um, yeah I'm really sorry to not continue with them I really wanted to but just health issues didn't allow me to so yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you and I will see you next time. Bye.